to two. Welcome back to the What's Cooking program, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, and travel show. I'm Michael Horn. That is Paul Stern. Awaiting uh, Matt Young is going to be here, a baseball player turned sommelier, and we're going to talk about wine and a lot more. Listen to this one, Paul Stern. This uh, diver is apparently have found some vintage bubbly. They uh, sampled 200-year-old champagne. They th- they think this is the world's oldest drinkable champagne. They found this in the Baltic Sea aboard a shipwreck. Uh, they found this over the weekend. Uh, they tasted one bottle they brought up so far, uh, and they uh, tasted it before they even got back to shore. And the, the uh, diving instructor said the bottles are believed to be from the 1780s and likely... We're part of a cargo destined for Russia. And quoting him now, this guy, uh, Christian Ekstrom, he says, we brought up the bottle to be able to establish how old the wreck was. Uh, and it tasted fantastic. It was a very sweet champagne with a tobacco taste and oak. So apparently they enjoyed a bottle and they're going to go down and get more. That's Boy, a big that, dive to the wine cellar. That, that is fantastic. What an incredible find. That is uh, quite, what do they call that? Uh, uh, booty? The pirate booty? Is that what it was, or it's the shipwreck? Booty? Yeah, that's yeah, that's Is they that what they... Yeah. You start the show talking about going out with two lovely no, ladies and yourself it. out at the Joffrey's in Malibu, and now you're talking about booty? No, the, 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 it wasn't like, uh, you know, when pirates, uh, they go after the, the, the cargo uh, of a ship. They call that, uh, I believe they call unless I've totally misunderstood. I believe Booty. They, so if a pirate was out of uh, some of the valuables, he would place a booty call no, to another I don't, pirate no, I ship? Don't, I, don't, one, I don't think is that. Is that what that I would be? I don't know anything about is that. Is that where I'm you're going with this? I'm not going that way. They were with that. Let's what? call these I, guys with this 200-year-old champagne. We'll call it a booty what? call. I'm looking Isn't forward to Vic. Bounty? Did I mention I'm looking forward to Vic it's Perino coming up later on today? Yeah, on Vic Perino. Program. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Columb- Columbus. I just love the way that sounds. Yeah, Columbus. I take it Matt Young is not ready to go. He must have heard no, the questions Matt, yeah. for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Have to tell our producer, Claudia McMahon, it's a good show today so far. Well, Matt was going to be joining us to talk about, a, I guess, a, a blind tasting uh, that involved the— uh, I guess World Cabernet. Well, we don't have to talk about it. If he's not here, why oh. even spill the beans on it? I'm not spilling the beans. Here's where on our it. old producer, j- executive producer, and host of the, uh, along with Eric Hines, of the first hour of the What's Cooking Today show, uh, Jack would be going nuts right about now, and he'd be pulling the guests right out of his hat. Let's hope Jack isn't going nuts right now. I hope he's not let's listening because Jack let's would let's actually yeah, he would get on the phone. Jack, please, if you're listening, listening, we're fine. Yeah. We just had a great story about this uh, 200-year-old bottle of champagne. Let me see if I can find some other breaking news. I think I saw some over I, here. I guess that none of this, this champagne has anything that would resemble a label. Do they, do they even no, have I, labels? Yeah, I think they, they had just it put on, it in a bottle and they put a cork in it, and that was pretty much the, the extent. Yeah. I Not think, a whole lot of marketing back in the 1780s. No, I think it was cold duck is what oh, they called it. Oh, you stop it. I think that was what the label People are going to take you there. seriously, Mike. you got to, you know, Did I tell you about the iPhone having some problems with the idea? Yeah, we yeah, already it, talked it, about it. Yeah, here's another story for those of you on Facebook, because apparently – the Facebook site is having trouble tracking dead users. I don't want to be like a, a dull here or something, but apparently this one uh, lady got a shock. She visited Facebook last month, and the site was suggesting that she get back in touch with an old family friend who played piano at her wedding four years ago, and apparently that friend had passed away in April. Oh. So uh, it apparently it freaked out this girl a bit. She said it was like coming back from the dead. Uh, Facebook, you know, this is the world's largest social network, knows a lot about uh, the custom members, the customers. There's like 500 million of us Facebookers out there. And uh, the software offers helpful uh, nudges and things like that to get uh, birthdays and, you know, connect that with people and stuff. But the company apparently has had trouble uh, automating the task of figuring out when one of its users has died. Oh my so you can stay alive on Facebook. Somebody could take over your site and create some problems for you. You know, I was kind of impressed with myself. You wouldn't, you wouldn't care because you're gone, but that's another place. Yes, I'm sorry. But I was kind of impressed with myself when I noticed that one of my Facebook friends was, uh, uh, I guess, Emmy Award-winning actress Betty Buckley. Don't know you, how she got there, but you apparently seem she... to get the celebs on your yeah, site. You I, have I, a lot of celebs on there. I've noticed. You remember know? Betty? Not... Bu- I think she was an eight. Is an, eight is enough too. I don't want to say anything, but you got a lot of ladies she, on there. You know, Tomas would that... like to. Tomas, you want to check out a site? Check out some of Paul Stern's friends. I got he's, Betty Buckley. He's got Betty Buckley on there and a few others. 
and uh, quite uh, the good uh, perusing there. I noticed that I also have Drew Barrymore uh, showed up on my Facebook page, wow. so there must have been something. This is something did. else, though. So you and Drew Barrymore, uh, she wasn't with uh, Sherry, was she, over the, the out of the beach? No, no, that, that, was, uh, that was Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Wow, okay. Sarah Silverman? No. Okay. No, no, the, the Sarah from New Jersey. Wow. The amazing Sarah from New Jersey. And, and when Sarah came out from New Jersey to visit, did she, uh, you know, not that you, I'm sure you had a great brunch or something, but did you try to have the hot dog competition with her? Because she's East Coast, probably well, a Nathan's. Not, it, it, we like Hebrew National oh. out here on the West Coast. And that would be kind of good to see what uh, someone from the East Coast I think Coast it was Hebrew National all, all the way. I'm telling you. There you go. There you go. The winner. All right, straight ahead, we continue. We'll have a guest sooner or later here on the show today, ladies and gentlemen, so stay with us, won't you? Vic Perino's coming up from Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club. More straight ahead on What's Cooking. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it.